Hi, I'm Stephanie Mosco. We're here at CompTel in Las Vegas, and I'm here with David Bird, Executive Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Broadvox. How are you today, David? I'm doing very well, Stephanie. Thank you for joining us. No, thank you for the invitation. If you wouldn't mind just starting off with a, a brief overview of Broadvox. Well, Broadvox is a, um, has been in the uh, uh, IP communications business for quite some time. We've been known as a carrier's carrier since uh, 2001. And uh, so it's a big deal for us in terms of our wholesale side to be here. And then Broadbox on the commercial side, we now offer SIP trunking and um, hosted uh, PBX. Great. Could you talk about a little bit about your involvement at Comtel this week? Sure. Um, the team's been out here since Saturday. They, they did the golf thing. I, I didn't come <laughs> out, but they did the golf thing, which allows them to work with a number of our customers and also prospects. Sure. And then um, we have a suite which is like booked every hour of the day right now. That's great. As we get a chance to, to meet with our customers and prospects and so forth. I mean, it's, it's just, it's very good for us on our wholesale business. Great. Are you showcasing any uh, of your specific services at the booth this week? No, we're not. Um, we, we, we don't have a booth on the floor. Um, mostly, it's an opportunity for us to uh, enjoy uh, the time that we can have with our, uh, with our customer base and prospects, the other carriers. And then uh, in terms of uh, any types of new products, the only new product that the company is talking about is our uh, communications as a service product, mm -hmm. which is a product called GoVBX. Could you elaborate a little bit on uh, GoVBX? GoVBX is, uh, stands for Virtual Business Exchange. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, hosted communications offering. It, uh, the, the, we, we announced it last year as a very simple IPPBX. But uh, after our acquisition of Cypress Communications, our first collaborative uh, activity on a product was to turn GoVBX into a unified communications service. And so now instead of being a simple IP PBX, it's now got integration with Microsoft Outlook, instant messaging, presence, and a number of other uh, UC features. That's great. Yeah. Uh, in terms of trends, PBX, SIP trunking, what do you see being uh, the biggest trends for 2011? The biggest trend for us is, uh, well, there, 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 there are a couple of things. In, in terms of the carrier space, we're very interested in understanding uh, the impact of IPv6. And we want to, of course, demonstrate to people our ability to support that. Also, uh, supporting HD voice and video over the IP network is also important for our carriers. Mm -hmm. And then as far as a trend on the commercial side, cloud computing is hard to beat. And so offering communications as a service, unified communications as a service, we think really fits into the trend of cloud computing. Absolutely. Now, I know you guys had a pretty successful 2010. How's it looking for 2011? Great. We will, um, I no longer manage the channel, mm -hmm. so uh, I, I'll have to ha hand, hand those reins over to a gentleman by the name of Chad Krantz. But uh, Chad is supposed to grow the revenue 100% again this year. Excellent. Anything specific we can look for in the new year? Announcements? Uh, well, um, our partner summit is coming up the first week of May, May 3 through 5, and we'll be emphasizing, again, GoVBX, and we'll also be announcing our uh, Go Services product, which will be web hosting, web security, web design, um, data storage, uh, another package to create stickiness with our customer base. Sounds good. Well, it looks like you have a lot to look forward to for 2011. Right. Thank you so much for being here today. And thank you. Once again, this is Stephanie Mosca. I'm here with David Bird of Broadbox.